Hi, in this video I'll show you how easy it is to take a website and turn it into a QR code activity that students can do or complete using their tablet, smartphone, or iPod. In this scenario I've got a website and in this case the website is BrainPop. I'd like for students to go to BrainPop open up a specific movie and in this scenario I want them to watch them this movie about Mars when they finish watching the movie I'd like for them to take the classic quiz and keep a record of their score and then once they do that I'd like for them to go to the game up area and do something fun by playing a related game sizing up the universe and I've typed all of the directions out for the students and onto this Google Doc so to go watch the video, take the classic quiz, record their score, and then once they've done all that, to go do something fun by playing the game up activity sizing up the universe. Now, to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is to create some QR codes. And in this case, I'm going to be using the website qrstuff.com. That's www.qrstuff.com. Dot com. This is not the only QR code creator out there, but I like this one because it's pretty easy and it's free and it'll handle making QR codes from a lot of popular things such as website URLs. You can also create QR codes from YouTube videos using the uh, video ID or video URL. You can also create Google Map location QR codes and I'll talk to you about some of the fun things you can do with that in a later movie. You can also create a QR code from a document that you might have in Dropbox for example. So in this case I'm going to take the hyperlink to my BrainPop video, drag and select the entire URL, right click and copy then go to QR code generator click in the website URL box right click and paste it in so in this case I'll create a picture that I can download so once I've done that I'm going to go to the right side and click download QR code and you can see on the left side of the screen my QR code has downloaded. I'll click on the More Options button and click Open. So you can see in this photo I've actually got the, a photo of my QR code. From here I can right click and copy my QR code into a Google Doc, into a PowerPoint slide, or into a Word document if I need to. I could post this around the class or distribute these to students as needed or I could even copy and paste this onto an index card or even onto a label. In this case I also made some additional directions. I created this directions document within a Google Doc so that my students would know exactly what steps to do and they would have something that they could come back to whenever they need to check to see if they're completing all of the steps and if they're on task. In this case I have a URL from my Google Doc also and I've made sure that I can share this Google Doc with anyone with the link and so now this Google Doc is also ready to copy. Go to the QR code generator and paste in and I can even create a QR code that will take my students directly to that Google document with all of the steps. In this case why don't we go ahead and print twelve to a page and get a PDF sticker sheet template. So I'll click download. Notice that my output comes out in a QR code PDF. Let's open the PDF and as you can see I now have 12 little QR codes that will take students to my BrainPop workstation directions 
And that's really the, all there is to creating an activity out of QR codes.